Right, today I'm gonna show you how to power your bike, your electric bike, using the battery from your cordless tool. And the reason why I want to use this cordless tool battery to power my electric bike is because of the cost. You see, the battery for this electric bike is really expensive and it doesn't cost much to get one of these, even new. And I've seen other people who also use this battery to power their electric bike, but they remove the cells from uh, the uh, uh, battery pack. So this is the Makita battery pack that I removed the cells. And um, this is the battery before it was removed. And people remove and get the 18650 cells this cell and then they solder them a whole bunch together to make a, a battery pack but uh, there's, this, there's a disadvantage of doing that, it that way is because um, once you disassemble your battery pack like this um, you cannot go back to this so if I, want, if I can have a way to keep these battery pack I can still use my tools when I need it when I don't use the bike I can still use my tools for the battery and I also see some other people use laptop battery uh, to they remove everything in here, get the cells and build a battery pack. But the problem with laptop batteries is it has a very low discharge rate. These battery have up to I would say around 10 C or 20 amp. So if this is if each cell is 2 amp hour it can discharge up to 10 times of its rate of its uh, capacity meaning it can discharge up to uh, 20 amp which is 10 C. This laptop battery usually discharge rate is only around 1 C so in order for it to compete to have the same discharge rate of these you have to put say this is 1C this is 10C so you have to put 10 of these in parallel to be equivalent to one of these so um, this is no it's not, it's, not a, it's not a good way to power your bike so let me show you what I have here I have uh, quite a few varieties of uh, uh, cordless tube battery the Walt this one is Porter Cable, Makita, Milwaukee, uh, it's also Milwaukee, Cobalt, Ryobi, Richard, also Ryobi. But I find that the, the one that's easiest for this application is the one that you slide in, like so. Not these. Um, this is okay, I mean it's possible but it's pretty hard to make a case uh, to slide this in and I am gonna show you what I have here so let me show you what I have here so I made a box so that I can slide my battery in and out and I have wire coming out of this metal bracket here and going out to power my bike so these two wire coming from this box going out to my controller so these are the two power cable going out to my controller controller and because I have a 36 volt motor I can use two of these in series to produce uh, 36 volt it says 20 volts here but it's actually 18 volts nominal meaning when it's under load it's only 18 volts so two of these in series will produce 
36 volts. So this box is constructed of this, uh, the middle part here is the wood from a, uh, a plywood, I cut it square. And then I drill a couple holes and screw in my bracket. These bracket I got from a heat sink. So this heat sink from an old TV. I just removed this part here and I cut it out to make it like this. So I can slide my battery in here like this and one on this side like that. And these are connected in series. Meaning, you see the red cable here? That is a positive end, okay? This positive end, right? And on this side is the negative end. So these two are connected in, together. So the battery on this side uh, is connected to the battery on the other side, on these two uh, brackets here. And let me show, I put in the battery and show you what I mean. So I got my Milwaukee 18 volt lithium ion battery here. And I'm just gonna slide it in just the way you slide in a tool. Um, on the battery itself, there are a few slots. The left, the very left side, it is the positive pole. The right side is the negative pole for Milwaukee. So slide it in like so. In, it's in. Okay, so I just grab another battery. Another Milwaukee battery. Okay, and just slide it in like so. It's in. And that's it. That's all I have to do. And I have a bungee cord here so I can tie it up uh, real tight because when I ride a bike it, it bounces a lot and it has a tendency to get this battery loose so I have to tie it up real good down here I have a switch this is actually um, let's see, 63 amp circuit breaker it's a DC circuit breaker but I use it as a switch uh, also. And this is the fuse. Okay. It's the fuse. So the wire go from the positive end, go out to the switch, throw the fuse, and out to the uh, power cable, and out to the controller. Let me show you again how I wire it together. So um, on the battery, so this is positive on the battery, negative on this battery on this side and on this side is the positive here and negative here so the positive end of this battery on this side is connected to the negative of this battery on the other side so these two are connected together right and then the negative on this battery is going to be a negative pole that going out to the controller of my bike the positive on this battery on the other side is also going out uh, through the circuit breaker and to the uh, controller uh, of the bike. Also let me show you down here, so this is the top part of the box. Going down here I made the same thing, also slide it in, got the uh, two brackets on this side going to the other side we got the two brackets on the other side so I can also install put in two more batteries one on this side one on the other side and the two of these connected in series and then these the, these two with the top are connected in parallel so the top produce 36 volts the bottom also produce 36 volt and the top and the bottom are connected in parallel to double the amperage or the capacity of the battery pack. And the way I secure this whole box is just by a, um, an aluminum bracket. So on my bike I already installed vertical bar to support this 
which are rack here and this vertical bar I drill a hole I drill a hole and install this aluminum bracket okay this aluminum L bracket I'll show you on this side see that the L bracket support this whole box so that's it all I have to do now is just to uh, secure the battery so they don't fall out like so turn on my switch and I'm good to go And I also found out a secret that the Milwaukee battery, Milwaukee 18 volt battery, and the Walt 18, 20 volt battery, um, they are almost the same in terms of the terminal, the location of the terminal, and the distance between the terminals. So, the distance from here to here is the same, distance from here. To here is the same, and the terminal are the same too. It's positive on the left, positive on the left, negative on the right, and negative here on the right. Why is that important? It is important because it has to be the same in order for me to slide in the metal bracket I have here. So this is the the vault. On the left side, I got a Milwaukee. Let's slide it in, see what's up. Actually, let me switch the other way around because this uh, Bluetooth battery is a little bit taller than usual, so it doesn't really fit in my. Um, just a little bit taller. Um, I have to fix my bracket to raise it up a little bit, but uh, let me put on the other side and. Uh, I'll show you all right so I have my the wall 20 volt Bluetooth and battery slide in like so Milwaukee slide in like so one side is the wall one side is Milwaukee turn it on and Let's see if we can power my bike. There you go. And uh, I have a whole bunch of other brands, battery brands here. And the only thing I find out uh, that are compatible are between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. The port cable, however, is also the same distance between the terminal almost the same distance and I can still slide in over there but the problem with the port cable is the uh, terminal is uh, opposite of the uh, uh, the vault and Milwaukee so on the port cable the negative terminal on the left on the, the vault the negative the positive terminal is on the left so it's uh, it's the other, the other the other way around so I can still slide in my portable battery it still fits in here like so um, it still fits in here I can still slide in my uh, battery box but the um, the terminals now is reversed so if I want to use this battery I have to reverse the terminal uh, for these batteries also other battery brands like Makita and Cobalt this is Cobalt uh, made by Lowe's by the way um, they are a little bit different uh, the distance between the two terminal is a little bit too far compared to the the walls you can see here 
it's a little bit too far so it doesn't fit in my brackets uh, same here as the cobalt distance between here and here is a little bit too far so it doesn't really fit in uh, as far as these battery with the pole on the top it's absolutely uh, uh, does not fit in my battery box also battery like this one this one is a rigid uh, 18 volt lithium ion battery the terminals are very different you can see here this battery the terminal is recessed inside the slot rigid make their terminal uh, not recessed it's like the uh, the metal pole sticking out so if I want to use this I have to uh, modify <coughs> modify my box a little bit different so cannot use this so there you have it how to power your electric bike using a battery pack from a cordless tool and again I do not want to remove the battery cells out of the battery pack because number one it takes a lot more time and it's uh, <coughs> a lot more complicated to remove the battery and then you have to solder the battery together and that's a pain in the butt and reason number two is I can still uh, use my tools when I'm not riding my bike uh, I can just remove the battery from the bike put in my tool and ready to build a house my bike uses a 36 volt motor but if it was a 72 volt motor all I have to do is to make the same box and install all four battery two on the top two on the bottom uh, all four batteries in series and that will produce 72 volts and if your bike is a 24 volt bike or 48 volt bike you can use one of these if it's 24 volt or you can use two of these doing the same connection to produce 48 volts uh, this uh, 24 volt battery for the cobalt and I think this is the only tool uh, that uh, make 24 volt lithium ion battery all other tools are 20 volts or 18 volts alright so now it's time to uh, take it for a ride Seems to be the wind. It's job pretty well. And um I've got packs right now uh, two battery in series has been 12 13 miles and still kicking so with four packs uh, I think I can get around 30 miles easily 